In a natural history museum in Rostock, Germany, is the toughest stork that has ever lived. In 1822 in Germany, a hunter shot a stork, but when he went to pick it up, he noticed that it had some additional baggage with it. Sticking through its neck was a huge spear. But what turned out to be a terrible day for this stork was a really good day for natural history because he had found what they went on to call the Feierstorch, or the arrow stork. Where birds went for the winter was for a long time a total mystery. And there were a lot of theories thrown out there. Aristotle believed that basically one bird species would just transform into a different one. What he was actually describing were migratory patterns. One bird would leave for the winter and another bird would come to Greece for the winter. And he would say, oh, that bird just turned into the other bird. It's like a you know, caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Another theory was that they hibernated. The birds would bury themselves in the mud at the edges of lakes, and it even went so far as to say that sometimes fishermen would catch them and dredge them up, but they made bad eating, so you know, it wasn't worth it. In the 1600s, a guy named Charles Morton, he had a new proposal. He thought they went to the moon. Well, this sounds insane to us now. He made a pretty coherent argument. We didn't know about the whole atmosphere on Earth and not on the moon thing. The 1600s were also a time when people believed that basically alien life existed on our moon, on other planets, and it wasn't that much of a stretch to believe that certain Earth creatures, particularly birds because they could fly, might actually make a visit there. It's not as if no one thought of the idea of, of migration as we think of it now. There were a couple of guys in particular who were like, yeah, like, I think birds probably just fly to like, you know, far away places like Asia or Africa, and everyone was like, pfft, weak. The stork was one of these species that seemed to just vanish. So when this German hunter shot this stork with a huge arrow through its neck, it pointed to a less extraterrestrial, but no less astonishing conclusion. The arrow that was sticking through its neck was an African spear. That stork had flown 3,000 kilometers down to Africa for the winter, been arrowed through the neck and flown 3,000 kilometers back to Germany. They took this species, they taxidermied it. Arrow still in there, exactly as it was. And it's been in the Natural History Museum of Rostock uh, since the 1800s. Amazingly, this is not the only arrow stork that has been found. Since then, 25 different cases of Feierstorch have been recorded. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. To all you arrow storks, keep up your game. It really is like some next level stork action. I hope there are arrow storks right now that got away.